Hello friends, hola amigos, my name is Olga Beltran and this is my YouTube channel Step by Step Spanish Lessons with Olga Beltran. Welcome! Did you hear that I said hola amigos? Let's see. Hola. Means hello. This is an H. In Spanish, we never, never pronounce the letter H. Okay? It's silent. And now, I have said amigos, but I write now the word in singular. Amigo. It's friend. Amigo is singular. If you watch it, the last video, the first lesson video, uh, I explained there that uh, to form the plural of words ending in vowel, we have to add an S at the end. So, if amigo is singular and it ends in, in vowel, we only have to add an S to form the plural. So, this is hola amigos. Uh, remember that in the first lesson I told you that in Spanish uh, nouns, adjectives, uh, articles, past participles, pronouns and adverbs have gender, feminine or masculine. Uh, there are some rules to, um, that will help us to know when a, a noun or a word in general is feminine or masculine. Uh, but there are many exceptions. These rules are useful, but not all words uh, fit with these rules, okay? So let's see the first rule. Many masculine words end in O or in L. Let's see an example. Vino. This is a new word. We didn't saw this word in the last class. Vino is wine. It's a word ending in O, the vowel O. Do you remember? We saw that in the first lesson. O. La vocal O, the vowel O. Vino, wine. It ends in O. It's masculine. And the word sol, we saw this word in the last lesson, it means sun, okay? It ends in L and it's also um, masculine. There are many words ending in, in O or in L that are masculine. Again, there are many exceptions that you have to learn um, with practice and we, you have to learn uh, by heart. But these rules are um, useful, okay? The second rule. Many feminine words end in A. Many. So, for example, we saw this word in the first lesson. Casa. House. It's feminine. It's, it ends in A. Another word that we saw in the first lesson. Luna. Also feminine. And the third word, and the most important word, masculine words ending in O that have a feminine form construct the feminine changing the O by an A. Okay, it's very easy. Let's, let's see that. A word, for example, amigo. Amigo, this is the masculine form. It has a feminine one. So, to form the feminine, the feminine word, well, we only have to change the O by an A, and the word is 
amiga, ok? It's easy in this case. Amigo, amiga. Another word, for example, niño. Niño, this is a new word that we didn't study in the last lesson. Niño means child, ok? But male child, it's masculine. So, it ends in O because it's masculine. It has uh, its feminine form. So, to form the feminine, what do we do? We change the O by an A. So, which is the feminine word? Niña. And now I will explain to you the, this letter. This letter is the Eñe. You have to write this letter like this. It's an N with this, with this sign on it. The name of the letter is Eñe. Eñe. This letter exists in Spanish, but I think it's the only language that uses this letter, Eñe. To pronounce this letter, you have to put the upper part of your tongue um, touching your, the, um, your roof of your mouth. Eñe, ñe, ñe, ñe. All the upper part of the tongue touching the, the roof of the mouth. So it's niño. It's like when you pronounce in English the word cognac. Cognac. Is this a, it's a French word, but it's a universal word. So cognac, it's the same sound. These two letters made in English and in French, also in French, the same sound uh, that the ñ, the Spanish ñ, so remember, niño, niña, like cognac, cognac, niño, niña, male, boy, female, uh, well, I'm sorry, <laughs> male, child, female, child. Um, remember, these, these rules um, have many exceptions. There are um, two or three rules more, uh, but we'll study them in, in a future lesson. Uh, next, in the next part of the lesson, we are going to study the definite articles. So, let's continue. Remember that in the first lesson, in the, in the last lesson, we studied the definite feminine article, la. It's like the English the, but only for feminine singular words. La. And its plural is las. Let's see examples with the, the word casa that is very useful to study these things. We have again casa. It's singular, so the article we use before it, when we want to say the house, we use la, the house is la casa, it's singular. If the word is plural, with an s at the end, if you don't remember how to form plural, watch again the first lesson video, and so, which article do we use to the plural word? Las, las casas, okay? Now, let's see the masculine articles. The singular article, masculine article is el, okay? Uh, an example, el, Niño, the word we have studied before, el niño. Another word, el vino. Vino is masculine, okay? It ends in O. 
uh, that word matches with the rule that, that says that uh, words ending in O, many words ending in O are masculine. So, el vino matches with this, with this rule. It's singular, so the article is el vino. Now, let's continue. Now, the masculine, the masculine plural article, it's los, los. So, let's, let's construct the plural of these words with the articles, of course. El niño, the plural is los niños. As the word ends in vowel, we add an S at the end, and we have the plural. Now with el vino. How do you, what article do you use? The definite article, the, the masculine plural article is los. Los. And how do you construct the plural of this word? It ends in vowel, so you have to add an S, los vinos. It's not difficult. I should say that in Spanish we always use uh, article before nouns. It's not like in English that you, uh, do, you don't use an article when you're talking about general things. For example, you say houses are places to live. You don't use the article because uh, houses, in this case, is a very general word. You're talking about all the houses, all houses. Uh, but in Spanish, we always use the article, even if we speak in general, okay? And another thing is that uh, in English, you don't use article when you speak about um, abstract concepts. But in Spanish, we do, always. For example, you don't say the love. Love. You say love. But in Spanish we say el amor. Love is amor in Spanish. It's masculine. So the article is for singular masculine. Remember el amor. El amor. Now we are going to do an exercise to practice all this. Okay? Let's go. What we are going to do now is to choose the correct article to these words. All these words match with the rules we have studied before. Remember the rules. Many mm, nouns mm, ending in L or in O are masculine. Many, many words ending in A are feminine. And uh, masculine words ending in O that have a femi feminine form change the last O to by an A to form the feminine form. So all these words match with these rules. Let's see. Sol. It ends in L. It's masculine. Is it plural or singular? It doesn't have an S at the end, so it's singular. If you want to remember how to construct the plural of sol and of words ending in consonant, see the video of the first lesson. Sol, it's masculine singular, which is the article for masculine singular words, el. So we have to use the article el. Luna, it ends in A, it, it's feminine, it's singular because it doesn't has an S at the end, feminine singular, feminine singular, la, la luna, 
Remember that Luna means moon. We, we saw that in the first lesson. Amiga, friend, female friend, singular, feminine. Which is the article? La. La amiga. Amigos. Is it singular or plural? It has an S at the end. It's plural. Is it feminine or masculine? When it's singular, without the S, it ends in O. So it's masculine. Masculine plural. Which is the article for masculine plural? Los. Los amigos. Vino. Oh, remember, we saw that in the first lesson, but I repeat it. Uh, the letter V in Spanish uh, should be pronounced as the letter B. The sound is the same in the Spanish B, because in English it's more explosive, but in Spanish it's soft. So it's, it's B, vino, not vino, 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 okay? Vino is singular and masculine. It ends in O. So the article for a masculine singular words, which is it? El. El vino. Niños. Which is the article? It's Singular or plural? It's plural. Is it feminine or masculine? If you, if you remove the S, it ends in O. So the singular form is masculine. We have a masculine plural word. The article for masculine plural words is los. Los niños. This word. Is it singular or plural? It's plural because it ends in S. If we remove the S, is it uh, masculine or feminine? It's feminine because it ends in A. So the article is the, the feminine plural article. Las niñas. Vino, vinos, sorry, e ending in S, vinos, it's masculine plural, so the article is los, los vinos. It's not very difficult, let's continue. In the previous video, I talked to you about the section called the Spanish Challenge. The section is that every time I publish a video in YouTube, I also post a question about some aspect we have studied during the video on Instagram and on Facebook. And then in the next video, I will give the answer to that question. If you want to participate, the page of Facebook uh, is called uh, like this channel, exactly like this channel, step-by-step -step Spanish lessons with Olga Beltran. And the uh, uh, Instagram account is olgabeltran.spanishlessons. And I give you the direct, le direct links to the posts of the Spanish challenge of this week uh, in the description of the video below. Now we are going to see the answer to the question of the last lesson. The question was this one. In Spanish, mesa means table. Bar means Bar, exactly the same as in English. How do you form the plural of these words? And the correct answer was B. Why? Because mesa ends in vowel, so we, had, we have to add an S at the end to form the plural. 
and bar ends in consonant, so we have to add an E plus an S to, to from the plural. In the next lesson, in the next video, we are going to study a fundamental rule, no, not one, several fundamental rules uh, to have a good pronunciation in Spanish. I will also give you a vocabulary uh, with greetings and polite forms. And a very important rule, the most basic rule, uh, about Spanish adjectives. If you don't want to miss it, subscribe to this channel, click on the bell to get a notification when I publish the next video, and if you like this one, please click like. I see you soon. Goodbye, friends. Adios, amigos.